you're good looking. Do you want to tone the tush, work the core, and get your heart rate up? Well, I've delivered today. Hey, this is the perfect combination of all of that using your booty band or your loop band and your BOSU ball. Those are the only two pieces of equipment that you need for this workout. And if you're new to exercise, don't worry. I've got low and high impact options available for everyone. So no matter where you are in your fitness journey, you are going to rock this workout. So lace up your runners and let's go get busy. Hello there. Hey, I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and hey, I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. Actually, every muscle of their 20s. Even better than your 20s. Trainers promise. So if this interests you, click that subscribe button. Let's keep working out together. All right, we're starting the warm up with our BOSU ball just to get our ankles and feet and um, body basically used to being on an unstable surface. And then we're pushing it off to the side to move into the booty band drills first. So let's start with an alternating knee up. So one foot in the very center of your dome, your knee drive and then the other side. Perfect. Now make sure that you step far enough back so that you don't hit that black outer edge of your BOSU ball. Alternate your knees, chest lifted. Beautiful. So hope you're having a good day. If you're not, this workout's going to put you in a better mood. If it doesn't, well then I'll give you your money back. How's that? <laughs> four more. Here's four. Three. Two, losing my balance. One, now keep doing this, but now give me a hamstring curl, so that's heel to the bump. And then you can add a little bit of arms here where they press back to get into the triceps. Boom, boom. I live just outside of Vancouver, BC, and right now it is pouring rain. It's a lovely day. <laughs> Typical West Coast weather. It always sucks when it rains though, because I have two dogs and ugh, you got wet dogs and then wet dog smell all day in the house. Last four, I know my life is horrendous, isn't it? <laughs> One more each leg. Okay, now we've got same move, but hip extension. So leg stays back, press the leg back. So that's gonna get more into the glute and into the booty while we dynamically get into the hip flexor here. Good. Yeah, real challenging problems over here in the Fitness of PJ headquarters. <laughs> it smells like wet dog. Now I used to have a dog, well I still have him, George. He used to always join me. But now I've added more lights to the set and he's terrified of the lights. So unfortunately we won't be seeing George much on the YouTube channel. Last four. And take her down. All right, take one leg up on the BOSU, hands light behind the ears, sink yourself down into a lunge and drive up, pushing that front heel into your ground. Now when we lunge down, that front knee is not pushing past your toes. Perfect, now you can go down as deep or as shallow as you like. It all depends on how this move feels for your knees. So play around with it. Remember, we don't wanna work out if there's pain involved. Four more, three, two, one, other side. Now this is obviously gonna challenge your balance, so focus your stare on something stationary just ahead of you. All right, lean back, fingers stay light behind the ears. That's gonna open up the chest and bend both knees. Take a peek at that front knee. We don't want it shooting past the toe box. And once again, bending the knees as it feels comfortable for the knee joint. Last four, three, two, and one. Perfect. Flip your dome over for me, black side up, chest over the white button, step back into plank. Now, stay here or intermediate advance. I want you to push the dome to one side, come to center, push the dome to the other side. So it's a bit of a, what we call an offset plank working deeper into the shoulders and the core. 
Beginners, you stay with plank. You can also go on your knees, right? So you can drop it down onto the knees and do the same move or just hold it if you're not interested in moving your BOSU side to side. Last four, three, two, one. Now stay here, step the right foot beside the right hand, go into a bit of a lunge pattern, feet together, left foot, left hand, feet together, perfect. So this is a wide mountain climber. We'll do a variation of this in the workout. This will be the modified version. And then I'm gonna show you how you can ramp it up. One more each side. And release, flip the dome back up, standing on top of the dome. Whoop, find your balance. <laughs> All right, drop down into a squat. You go down as low as you can, intermediate advance. Let's see if we can get the tush all the way down while we stay upright in the upper body. I like my arms to come out front when I do this. It helps with my balance. Perfect. Nicely done, halfway. One more. Nice, exit off and march it out. All right, grab a sip of water if you need it now because we are gonna get the booty band on and start rolling. Okay, I neglected to say at the beginning of the workout, it's preferable if you have a latex band. The cloth bands are gonna be a little too tight for what I'm looking for in this workout today. So if you have options, I'd rather you get a lighter latex band for this. All right, starting with the band just above the knees. We'll have a couple of different places for the tubing, either above the knees or around the ankles. We never actually place the band around an actual joint. So we're gonna use the knee as our reference. The first one, it stays above the knee. Two pulses and then a jump, okay? Modified, two pulses, heel lift. You ready? I know, we got a whole bunch of other exercises. I'll just show it to you as I go. That's how we roll here. All right, I want your feet apart. I want you to feel that band trying to pull the knees in towards each other. You are fighting that by using your glute med. Keep those knees tracking with the second toe. So if we had the shoes and socks off, those knees would be going right with that second tootsie of yours. Deal? Perfect, all right. Let's sit the bum back. Two pulses, drive up. Two pulses, drive up, perfect. Hip hinge, bend the knees, think of a squat, you know how to squat. Good, you just add those two pulses. Now we have four moves, three rounds, 30 seconds. And this one's waking us up right away, isn't it? <laughs> Again, don't let the knees time, don't let those knees cave in. Booty bend now, around the ankles. Get the feet apart so we've got some tension into the booty band from this position. We jumping jack, go. Low impact, go. This is why I want you to have a latex band. The cloth bands will not allow you to do this. When the timer goes, booty band goes up above the knees again and we're gonna go down onto all fours, okay? Just giving you a heads up. Land soft, get those arms up, time. Booty band above the knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees apart underneath the hips. Tuck the toes under, lift up into bear hold. Now open the knees up, close them, jump the feet back and back to bear. Open, close, jump, good, modified. Open, close, drop the knees. Open, close, drop the knees, okay? So, you guys choose, woo, which one you want, and then keep going. Time, woo, give yourself some room, okay? We wanna travel with a squat three times, and then three times back. So, let's go down here, one, two, Three, now, inside leg, presses back to hip extension. Squat, one, two, three, press. One, two, three, hoop. Pick it up a bit if you can. So this is the fourth move. We go back to squat, pulse, jump, or heel lift. 
in about 10 seconds. Time, okay, less than 10 seconds. <laughs> Keep the booty band here. <laughs> Round two, to squat pulse, jump or heel lift, go. Good, now smile, come on, you showed up. I'm proud of you. Bands going low for our jumping jacks coming up. Oh my goodness. Time. Woo. All right, band low. Feet apart. So we've got some tension in that booty band before we begin. Pull up my pants. Higher low impact jumping jack. Go. So low impact, right? Low impact is just as hard. <laughs> In fact, I think it might be harder. <laughs> I'll go back to high impact. <laughs> Bear hold coming up. Time. Booty band above the knees. On your hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees apart under hips, tuck the toes under, bear hover. Open the knees, close them, drop the knees or jump it back to full plank with me. Yeah, how you doing at home? Come on, hang in there, time. Oh my goodness, that one kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, we travel three times. Hip extension inside leg, let's go. Goes one, two, three, press it. One, two, three, Hoop. good. So that hip extension is a really nice way to get into the glute and then get a dynamic length of your hip flexor. This guy, big guy right there, which tends to be tight with a lot of us. So I really want to think about how can I lengthen the hip muscle while we train your tush. And here you go. <laughs> so we got one more round to go. Time, one more. So do you remember the first exercise? Do you? Come on. That's right, squat pulse to jump. You win a knife set, go. You win the knife set that my husband gave me for my 51st, for 51st birthday. <laughs> it's got some dry blood on it, sorry. Sorry about that, they're slightly used as I stabbed him in the middle of the night for giving me such a ridiculous birthday present. But other than that, they're right as rain. <laughs> I'll deliver them to your house. <laughs> Time, band low, jumping jack. Now remember your low impact, right? Tapping out. Whew. Ready, set, and go. Now, if you're a regular subscriber, you've heard me rant about this birthday present before. If you're not, it was my 51st birthday a couple months ago. That's what I got for my birthday. And this is coming from a girl whose favorite quote is, the best meal is one I don't have to make. So I'm not a kitchen person. <laughs> Time. Okay, bear holds. That means we need to bring that band up. Okay. Hands and knees, hands under shoulders. Knees apart under hips, lift up, open, close. Good. So when I close the knees, they're not coming together, okay? I'm still keeping the knees underneath the hips. So there's constant tension for your outer hip muscles on this move. Now you can stay in bear hover and just open close too. You don't have to jump back or drop the knees. Challenge yourself, okay? Time, cool. Yep. Whew. Glad that one's done. All right. Three travels inside leg hip extension. Goes one, two, three, up. Okay, 
last 30 seconds here. We'll take the band off, quick sip of water, and move into our BOSU moves. Squeeze the tush. Good. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Time. All right. Let's get the booty band off. Don't you dare sit, okay? Keep that heart rate going. March it out on the spot if, when you grab your water. Keep your feet moving. Get your BOSU set up. Woo. Okay. Same thing, four moves. Three rounds, 30 seconds on the clock. We start with up and over the BOSU, so more hip work. You're welcome. <laughs> so it looks like this, okay? Or step over if you don't like that hop. All right, let's get set up. Water breaks over. Come on. This isn't a union. <laughs> let's go. Ready? Start with a bit of a squat. Ready, set. Good. Let's go. 30 seconds. Good. So we're going to finish in a squat on each side of your ball. Perfect. Knees track with toes. Nice. <sighs> Now we're in a plank with our forearms on our dome when the timer goes. Time, all right, plank. We've got alternating plank ups. Drop on the knees to modify. Ready, step your hand up, up, down. Now lead with the other arm. Now if you have a towel, I highly recommend you quickly place it over your dome. Because if you're like me, you're kind of slipping off the dome and it's not fun. So, or maybe it's just me and the particular type of moisturizer I'm using right now. <laughs> we stand for the next move. Whew. Keep those hips quiet. Time. Feet apart. Straddle your BOSU. Make sure that the fatter part of the handle, the BOSU handles, aren't right where your feet are. Now step, knee, down. So it's called a straddle step. Don't think about it. If you say, PJ, I'm uncoordinated. I can't figure this out. Just do it. Your feet will do it. If I can do it, trust me, you can do it. Good, now if you want more pop, you add a hop with the knee. Time, all right, remember those mountain climbers and warm up? Let's do them now. Flip the dome. All right, chest is right over that white button. Step wide, wide wide. Now if you want to join me on the high intensity, press into the BOSU and power your mountain climber. Stay right over that white button. Arms are straight. Wrists are under the shoulders. Feet are ending right beside each hand. Okay, come on. Time. Flip the dome. Up and over the dome from the top, round two. One foot on the center. Jump or step, your choice. Give me a squat. I like to add the arms. They will help you with the lift too. Land soft, knees track with toes. Good job. I'm proud of you. I know I already said that, but I mean it. I'm just not blowing smoke up your ass, I promise. Plank ups coming up. Time. All right. So remember with the plank ups, you can be on your knees to modify. Everybody though, let's keep those hips quiet. So a lot of core control here. Feet apart, go. Alternate your arms as they step up. Chest stays over the dome. Good. Feet apart if you're on the feet with me. That's gonna help you keep those hips quiet. Come on. Straddle step coming up. Oh yeah. 
done. All right, again, make sure the handles of the BOSU are not beside the feet, okay? You can add the hop with me if you'd like, or just a regular straddle step. You want that foot right on top of your dome, not off center. So there's a lot of hip on this one too, as we step astride of the BOSU. Power mountain climbers coming up. Time, all right, flip the dome. Chest over the white button. Okay, you can step or join me. One foot beside the hand and push into the BOSU and switch. Power mountain climbers here or regular. Come on, you guys. This is it. We got one more round and then we're done. So let's do this. Time. Woo. All right. Flip the dome from the top up and over the BOSU. One foot on to start. Ready, go. Bend the knees, push your hips rearward. Chest is lifted, neutral spine because we're hip hinging as we come down. Good. Plank ups coming up. This is it. Two minutes of work and then we're done. Let's do this, come on. Up, up. Here we go. Time, woo, plank ups. On the knees or the toes, my mats are going everywhere. Woo. Here we go, feet apart, go. Straddle step, so we start a stride. Again, right, your handles aren't beside your feet. Ready? Of course you are. You're awesome like that. Doesn't it feel good to get moving? I told you, if you were in a shitty mood before this, I bet you you're feeling better now. We're coming into our final drill. Come on, up, pick it up now. Less than a minute, time. All right, so regular mountain climber or join me. If you're joining me, start with the left foot beside the left hand. Press into the BOSU, go. done. We need to cool it down. Don't leave me yet. All right. You grab a sip of water. I got to fix my mat. I don't know if you can see it, but it's crooked. I can't deal. I can't deal with crooked. You know, it's a good workout when I got to move the mats back. <laughs> you know, there was some sweat happening on that workout. All right. Behind the BOSU, march it out. If you need water, please go for it. Just keep those feet moving. Take a look at the heart rate, huh? Woo, yeah. All right, heel tap on top. Good. We're just gonna let the heart rate come down on its own accord, do a few stretches, and then you can continue on your day or 
Maybe you want to try the brutal little ab workout I released a few weeks ago. If you wait to the very end of this workout, it'll be queued up and you just have to push on it. Click on the thumbnail and it'll show up. It's brutal, but it's brutally awesome. So if you still got another 10, 12 minutes, stick around for that. Good. Four more here. One more each leg. And march it out, bring the arms, inhale through the nose. Exhale. Good, let's do it again. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Shake it out. Take a look where your heart rate's at. We should be getting down there, okay? Remember a good sign of fitness is your heart rate comes down at a good pace, so it doesn't stay elevated for a long period of time. If it does, we need to work on your cardio a bit more, or perhaps you need to go talk to your doctor and set up a game plan to help work that out, okay? I really recommend a heart rate monitor for anyone over the age of 50. It does help us, give us a metric, helps keep an eye on our heart rate for us, and will tell us things like, is the heart rate coming down nice and easy as we cool down, or is it staying elevated? If it's staying elevated, like I said, we wanna keep an eye on that. But if you can't afford a heart rate monitor, because they're not cheap, you can also take your pulse and take your pulse here on your wrist, okay? All right, let's take the left foot. I'll come to my side. All right, left foot, half of it's on your BOSU, heels on the ground. Keep the legs straight and just lean forward and you're gonna get a beautiful, amazing stretch in the calf. I love this stretch. Don't tell the other stretches, but I think this is my favorite stretch. <sighs> now the key on this guy is to keep the knee straight. Once we bend it, try bending it. You don't get quite the good stretch. There, straight, huh? Nice. This is also a great stretch to do if you hike, run, or if you power walk. Calf is used quite a bit in all three of those activities as well as stepping. And let's do the other side. So again, you want your heel on the ground. That part's important. Leg is straight. Step the other leg beside the BOSU. And then I'm literally pushing my hips forward. So my bum's not staying back. I'm not like this. Okay, I'm upright. Getting a great stretch in that lower leg muscle. Just kind of breathing into it. All right, let's take that other leg. I'm gonna bring the BOSU center a bit. Knee right on top of the dome, other knee and ankle lined up, and then tilt the bum under. So you're gonna squeeze that glute and tuck under, okay, what we call posterior tilt a bit. Great, now inhale the arm straight up and then exhale and lean away. So thank you for showing up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. All you have to do is click that red subscribe button and it does help with the YouTube algorithm and the more women that we can get on the workouts, the healthier women are gonna be all around the world, which is pretty cool. And you can do your part by simply subscribing. All right, let's take the other knee underneath the hip. Good, so we wanna posture your tilt slightly, squeeze that back glute, inhale the arm straight up and then lean away. And release, final stretch into the hamstring. Heel on the BOSU, toe is up. Now here's the key, all right? I don't want you to posture your tilt on this one. I want you to actually anteriorly tilt a bit. So push your bum back a bit and then hinge from the hip so we have a neutral spine and that will give you a better stretch into the hamstring. Hands are gonna rest on the thighs, never right on a knee joint. Same with as I talked about having the booty band around a joint. We never wanna push on a joint either when we're doing a stretch.
and other side. Once again, neutral spine, so lift up. Hip hinge, leading with the collarbone and chest. Beautiful. So a really good way to see whether or not you're doing that is I want you to place your hand right at the insertion of the xiphoid process here, the, the, it, where the ribs meet there, okay? And your belly button, got it? Okay, now that distance should stay consistent as you hinge forward. So it shouldn't, fingers shouldn't come together. They should stay apart and that will ensure that you are keeping that neutral spine because you may be like me and don't have a mirror to reference yourself with. And release. Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. As I said earlier, please subscribe to the channel. I would love the opportunity to keep working with you. Drop a comment below. Let me know what the hell you thought of the workout. And if you want to do that little evil ab routine, it's going to be floating across the screen any minute now. How, or any second, I should say now. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Mwah.